Hello, remember me? Well, it has been quite a few months, so I'll forgive you if you have forgotten me. Life's been a little bit hectic with my PhD research ramping up a gear over the past few months. But today is a time to rectify my YouTube hiatus. And what better way to do it than with a moth trap? Ah yes, this time two years ago I showed you how to attract moths into your garden using a load of miscellaneous ingredients and a bunch of old socks. Well, I've reached 2,000 subscribers now. I think it's time to up the budget. Ah yes, moth trapping is a great entomological activity for the late summer. It's the end of August now, and these mild evenings are perfect for nighttime lepidopteran activity. I actually got this trap for Christmas last year, and I played around with it a little bit, but I'm feeling hopeful that tonight are the perfect conditions for moths. It's gonna be a pretty mild night, but before I do any of that, I've gotta somehow put it together. <laughs> Oh, what a beauty. Now, how does this thing actually work? Well, despite being a pretty fancy piece of gear, it actually works in a very simple way. All it is, is an LED light and a box. And it works by essentially exploiting the way that moths navigate through their environment. And that's using the moon. As a moth navigates through its world, it uses a celestial navigation technique called transverse orientation. Now, essentially what that means is that the moth needs to maintain a pretty constant angle between it and the moon. Now the moon is pretty far away, so as a moth flies around, then the angle between it and the moon stays fairly constant, but that's not the case for an artificial light source like this, and that really messes with the moth's navigation system. Essentially, it causes the moth to spiral ever and ever closer to the light source, and then drop down into this trap here where they can't get out, so we can then retrieve them in the morning. But for this thing to work, we kind of need to plug it in, don't we? Excuse me. Wonderful stuff, so now it's time to leave it and come back in the morning. Hello, it's the next morning now and it's time to check the moth trap. I'm not gonna lie, I've overslept a little bit, but that means I'm all the more awake now to do some moth IDing. Now, there are over a thousand species of moth in this country and I don't know all of them, so I've got my butterfly and moth bible here which will hopefully see me through. But first of all, we've kind of got to go on the assumption that we've got some moths and it rained quite a bit last night, so that's not a certainty. There is the moth trap. Can we see in there? Now I'm not gonna lie, when I first looked at this trap this morning, I was a little bit disappointed, but then actually now, the more I look, the more cool stuff I see, and I haven't even got it open yet. In fact, just by the side of the trap here is a beautiful green carpet moth. Just look at the beautiful kind of shade of green on that. It's not a, a color you see very often amongst Lepidoptera, I have to say. This moth is from a family of moths called the underwing moths. And they're called the underwing moths. <laughs> it's gone now. They have these flashy yellow, sometimes orange, sometimes even blue patterns, and they're used to flash at predators when they're disturbed. It's what's known as a dimatic display, a very effective defensive strategy. Now, the incredible startle display of underwing moths haven't evolved to deter creatures like me, a human. The main visual predators of moths are birds. So in order to perhaps 
increase our chances of seeing the dimatic display of the underwing moth in all its glory, we're kind of going to need a bird predator. This is a bit of a moral debate, I suppose, um, because obviously, if I do this, then I am sacrificing one of my moths. You can see it, it's over there in the bush. I reckon I can attract its attention. Incredible! Did you see that? As the robin came down, the underwing moth flashed those dimatic display hind wings. And it completely put the robin off attacking it. Wow! Well, I think proving that the yellow underwing moth's dimatic display truly works was worth setting up that moth trap in the first place. I hope you did too. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with all my wildlife and science adventures. In the meantime, see you next time, folks. Let's get scratching. It's time to go moth trapping. Ooh. <laughs>